Hello everyone and welcome to this video of Sana. This is Bukas Siddiq. In this video, I want to talk to you about the control potential stat window in the Thala software. But before we start with the software, let's have a quick look at the hardware which I have with me today. I have a Sanium Pro Potential Stat and have extended this Sanium Pro Potential Stat with a PP212 external potential stat. Now I have already connected the potential stat, the external potential stat PP212 with mains via a power cable and I also have the APC cable which is connecting on one side the APC42 card which is installed in or which is equipped with the Sanium Pro and the other side of cable is connecting the back side of the power potential stat. So with this let's jump over to the software. Now here we have the Thales software we want to talk about the control potential stat window so let's go to control potential stat window in my last video i quickly showed you the control potential stat window that we can apply here some voltage or some current to check the response of our test sample so the bottom part is relevant if we are working with the impedance spectroscopy but that is a topic for another video now from here we have the device which is telling us the main so this is the main potential stat that is Sanium Pro potential stat now if you remember from the start of video I have connected the power potential stat to the slot 1 of the EPC card so I can go to device and I can go to 1 and I click OK and now from here on main it's saying PP212 so it has detected PP212 and now if I give here some voltage then that voltage will be delivered by the PP212 and not by the Sanium Pro. If you notice, there is no change in the control potential stat window, only here you can see either you are controlling the main potential stat or if you are controlling the power potential stat or an electronic load. If I go click on this device and I put zero back and enter OK, then I go back to the main potential stat. And now these values which are being shown are for the main potential stat so now if i apply some voltage and turn it on that power will be delivered by the Sanium pro and not pp212 okay the next part is the calibration part so if i click on the calibration i come to a sub window if you are using an older version of the Sanium potential stats then you will not have this window and as soon as you will click on calibration it will just start the calibration or that will be the dc calibration but for the newer versions you have the possibility to calibrate for the dc measurements or calibrate for the ac measurements we also have here high impedance measurement if you have hits probe and so on here you have to keep in mind that if you want to calibrate your potential stat so all potential stat which are delivered by us are individually calibrated and when you install your Thales software you also install the calibration data which was specific to your potential stat but for some reason if you want to calibrate your potential stat once again make sure that you turn on your potential stat leave it for 30 minutes so that it's properly warmed up and then calibrate now if you want to save your calibration data just click on save calibration this will add the new calibration file in the folder where the previous calibration files are present now if for some reason you want to go back to the original calibration files you can go here and recall the previous calibrations next we have the check cell connections if we click on check cell connection here right now in the setting we have the main potential stat and it is showing you that if you have some sample how you can connect the cable to this potential stat now sana offer different kind of probes which you can connect with your Sanium potential stat for example you can have a high Z probe and with this high Z probe you can do measurement on high impedance sample very nice feature in this window is that it also modify here this schematic and it shows you that how different cables must be connected our main potential stat had two controlled voltage ranges 5 volt range or 15 voltage ranges and if you need higher voltages you can just click here and now you will be in 15 voltage range similarly here we have the compliance voltage so you can either work in 14 volt compliance volt or 28 volt compliance volt and last but not least we have here reference electrode so if you are using any reference electrode after the measurements you have to then modify your voltage axis 
here you can do that automatically so you click on with reference electrode you can see here again the schematic has been updated now with reference electrode if you try to go back it will ask you which reference electrode you are using so you can choose one of this reference electrode from the list and let's say that reference electrode which you are using the voltage is not provided to you so you can click on user defined reference click here on this tick mark and it will ask you what is the offset of your voltage and that you can provide here with this we cover most of the things which you can do with the test sampling window and i thank you for your time and to see you in the next video.